Hey, hi. I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. <clears throat> Just going to do a little nature style reading, right? I have the Everyday Witch right here. And then I have the Mystical uh, Bicycle deck. And then also, you know, I was cleaning. I'm always doing some kind of cleaning, you know. And then I found a little short stack of hearts. So we'll do this at the end. This is just kind of like energy check-in type of thing. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so I only have these decks today. Let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully you guys can see everything okay. What do we have for today's reading for whoever showed up? Because, you know, they want to hear a good story, right? What kind of story we got going on? What kind of energies? We're in Oklahoma. It's nice. Nice day today. Nice, casual, relaxing day. See what kind of energies we got floating around. Hopefully some nice, relaxed type of energies. <clears throat> One, two, let's see if we can get five, right? That's like the average that I get. We get two more for today's reading. Can we get one more, please? I don't know why they're not a weird shape, but the cards are feeling difficult like to shuffle, you know? And there it is. Here's the final card. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Queen of Cups. So this is telling me that, you know, and it's 50-50 though, okay? Because it's at the bottom of the deck. It didn't come out on its own, so there's a chance that 50% are in the positive energy and 50% not so doing so well. The Queen of Cups is pretty intuitive, though. She's very intuitive. She's very loving and nurturing. Um, that's 50%, though. She's emotionally stable, you know? But, you know, when she's in the reverse, she's none of that stuff. She's like, she's like a trifling woman. Not so good. Not the type you take home to mother, that's for sure. You know? But that's the energy at the bottom of the deck that we have so far. Okay? So let's see what we have here. Look, the hanged man. So we also have somebody's feeling kind of stuck. Stuck in a situation, right? They're stuck in a situation. This is usually the energy of the person who's watching the video. Oh, I might have to put like a weight on here. What do I have that's handy? <clears throat> uh, nothing. I have all kinds of things, but... You guys seen these? Cinnamon toothpicks, hot licks. I don't even really use these. I got them one day because I never seen them around. I remembered them from my childhood when I saw them at one of these little stores. I, I haven't seen them since though, and I have I have a bottle. <laughs> it's the cinnamon toothpicks, you know. You usually see guys with them, anyways. Nine of Pentacles right here is the second card. So this is usually the the energy of the person who came to the reading. And this would be the situation or person they're dealing with. So it, it appears that we have somebody who's in hangman mode, can't move forward, can't do anything, kind of stuck, right? And this person is dealing with a single lady, a single abundant lady. So we could have, uh, you know, well, we could have any gender watching, but for, you know, story's sake, we have a, possibly a man watching who is watching a single woman, somebody who's abundant and can take care of themselves, you know, something like this, right? And in the end, we have somebody in regards to this situation. In the end, we do have somebody who's actually who has left a toxic situation. 
So one or both, it could be both. One or both of these individuals have left a toxic situation. Okay? Or they are in the process, right? They're already doing it, right? It's not like they're talking about it or thinking about it. No, they're already doing it. It's in the process, right, as we speak, right? It's like that. Or they've done it already or they've already left the toxicity. It's something like that, okay? <clears throat> Now with this next card, this is usually the obstacle or advice. Let's see, Ace of Wands. I feel like this is the advice. I feel like the advice here is to go for it. Go for your passions. Whatever you're feeling passionate about, do it, go for it, right? Because like I always say about just all kinds of situations that require, you know, it's going to work or it's not going to work. Those are your outcomes. Or it's either a yes or a no. It's not a big deal. So you might as well give it a try, give it a go, whatever this is. Maybe you have an idea. Maybe you want to be an entrepreneur. You want to open your own business. Maybe you have a new product. Maybe you want to ask somebody out, right? Maybe you want to ask your girl to, or your guy, you know, or hint around, whatever, to maybe, you know, can we step this up, right? Can we get a little more serious? Or maybe somebody out there may ask somebody to marry them. So it's about moving up a higher level of commitment type of energy, I feel like, right? But for yourself. For yourself, whatever makes you happy, what makes you, what's, what are you passionate about? I feel like it's that, right? I feel like that's the advice here is like, go for it, you know? And in the end, we have the nine, nine of wands. And then it's also, you know, because the advice was to go for it, it's also showing in the end that you're going to have to fight for it. Whatever this is that you want, you're going to have to fight for it. For it and it's also showing here that you got enough fight left you got that one last fight left in you and you can do it all right so let's go ahead and grab these now and see a little bit more into the story tell me why somebody is stuck here why is somebody stuck in this situation right now That card wants to come out. So we have the five of cups in the reverse. Somebody is stuck, right? But they're no longer crying over the loss of a relationship. So somebody here, whoever this is, could have been kind of sad over the loss of a relationship. I think you've gotten over it. And you could have gotten over it because, you know, maybe you have somebody else in your sights here. We have the Knight of Pentacles. You know, this is slow moving night. So it looks like whatever you're doing, this hanged man, you might be doing that on purpose. You might be slowing things down, moving slow. You might be also working with others, right? To come up with a plan to how you will approach maybe this person. Or maybe you're working slow with this person. Or it's about working slow because I see this Knight of Pentacles here. We know this is about the slowest moving night. So maybe you're just like taking it easy. You don't want to rush things because you don't want to screw it up. <laughs> Usually that's why, right? We have the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck, right? Now this to me is like a liar card, right? This is about coming up with a plan, but a plan that's not honest, right? Now we have 50% of the people who are going to be kind of sneaky, but we have 50% of the people who want to be honest 100%. My opinion on this right here, be 100%. You don't need to come up with no lies or no schmoozing or no nothing, you know, especially if you're kind of serious. If you're not serious, it don't matter then. But if this is something that you're kind of thinking, I suggest that you be honest 100% with whatever you do, right? You don't want it to bite you later, okay? All right, I'm just being honest with the situation here, okay? That's all, 
I'm not trying to be mean to anybody, okay? Tell us about this Nine of Pentacles. Tell us about this individual. Who is this person? How is this person like? Okay. This person, and see, I'm glad I told you about that honesty thing because this person, all this person does is communicate honesty. See, it's, we have the, the Knight of Swords here, and this is about some honest communication. Even if it's harsh, even if it's direct, this person at least is honest, right? We got that. Okay, this person may have been left out in the cold. This is why they are in the position that they are in now, taking care of themselves, this, that, and the other, right? They got to. They have to. Who else is going to take care of them? Because they've been left out in the cold in the past. So this person has learned to take care of themselves, right? One more card. Let's see. Oh, how nice. And there's an Ace of Swords right there, the card of truth. So that's basically in a nutshell about this person. This person has been left out in the cold in the past, right? Just left to die, just left for dead, whatever. They had to pick themselves up from, from the pits, the bottom of the pits. And, and they're there where they are today because, you know, they took care of themselves. So this person that this person is looking at, this person is looking at this person. This person is self-sufficient. They can take care of themselves. They don't need anyone's help, right? And this person only speaks honesty with that Knight of Swords there. That's only a messages of truth. So what's at the bottom here? Oh, shoot. So it appears here, we got the Four of Wands. This here is about celebration, or it could be that these two could be soulmates, or this person is a soulmate, right? Now this person, because they are like they are, and they speak all this truth and that, this person could be a soulmate to a lot of people, right? It could be because it's like anybody can be a soulmate. You could go to the grocery store, you're waiting in line, it's moving slow, you stir up a little chit chat with the person behind you, you, you know, you, you exchange words. That person is momentarily a soulmate because you will probably pick up something from that person, just like that person will pick up something from you, just from the conversation. You know, it's kind of like that. So this person, because she speaks truth or he, we, we can flip flop these, who knows? This person possibly has a lot of soulmates or a lot of people they bump into that they speak their truth to, you know, and, and, and this is, and this person, they, they speak their truth because they've been hurt before, right? They're passing on, uh, you know, the goodwill of their pain, you know, to others to help them to not have the same mistake or, or whatever, you know what I mean? I don't even know if I'm saying this right, if I'm explaining it right, but. But it could be that this person who's stuck may feel that this single abundant person is their soulmate, right? I don't feel like this person even really knows what's going on. She's just there having her wine and cookies and reading a book. She, I don't feel like, I think she's just doing her own thing, really. Um, so, yeah, you know, that's, that's very, that's very interesting, okay? Let's find out about leaving toxic situations because that's what we got here. We got the Six of Swords. Somebody here in the end leaves a toxic situation. Now, if it for her, I don't feel she looks comfortable. Look at she looks like I can you see? I'm not sure if I'm holding it right, but. She's reading a book. She has a very comfortable chair right there with the cushions and her one. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like she wants to leave anywhere. So I'm assuming that this person here who's in hangman mode is kind of stuck there. They're in a toxic place. They're thinking about this person and eventually they will be stepping away, right? That's what's going away. They're stepping away from some sort of toxicity that's keeping them trapped look at the feet there's a lock so it isn't them that's keeping them there something in their life or their situation or their whatever is keep it is toxic and it's keeping them stuck here 
while this person is just relaxing and enjoying the fruits of her labor, whatever she did, right? Tell us about this Six of Swords. Okay, so we are talking to this person. We are talking to the person who is in Hanged Man, who is stuck in that toxic situation. You are going to leave and go towards your passions, right? Your advice is to do that. We have the Ace of Wands here and the Ace of Wands here. The Ace of Wands also in this deck is the Strength card, all right? So you are being, you know, you're going to be strong to do this. That's what that's all about. Be strong. Follow your passions. And yes, go after that Nine of Pentacles, lady. <laughs> Look at that. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, right? In this deck also, this is a card of uh, the Hermit. So if it's not time to go after it yet, you might want to take a little time out for yourself to do some introspection, right? Think about yourself. Think about your own self-inner healing. That's something that you might need to also do. So we have the Strength card and we have the Hermit card. Okay? Before you actually get to your passion you got i think you this is a little advice here to do a little self-healing let me see if i can get one more card somebody might okay Let's do some self-healing before you speak anything having to do with love we have the messenger the the knight of cups now all right and this is telling me here that you got to you know before you start following those passions and doing getting all crazy I think you have a little bit of healing that you might need to do. I'm trying to figure out how I came up with that. I'm looking around here. How did I just come up with that? That's something that just kind of spilled out. I don't know who that's for, but it just spilled out like that. I don't know why I said that because uh, I don't know. But this right here is double confirmation to follow your passions. Your passions might be this Nine of Pentacles lady. Or it could also mean you got to get single. Because if you're shacked up with someone right here, you need to get single. You can't be, she won't stand for it anyways. She speaks her truth. She'll tell you. You know, remember we saw that? So before you start talking about lovey-doveyness, make sure you fix yourself. You selfish. No, I'm just kidding. But make sure you fix yourself, you know, before you start bringing in baggage and all kind of, you know. And if you are going to go in and talk to somebody, make sure you let them know you got this baggage. That's the least you can do. Okay? So you don't throw any surprises anyone's way. Look. There's that five of swords again. This is the liar card. You don't need to lie, okay? If you're not 100% before you, you know, you make sure you tell the truth because that's all that she's going to accept. She's going to be able to know you're lying. She's going to be able to tell. She's already been through the lies and deceit and being left out in the cold and shit. She already knows. So, you know, it's, it's better it's better you, you reverse this and, and you're, you're honest, you know? I'm sure she's been hurt, too, before, if that's what we were dealing with. So, you know, I'm just saying, that, you know, I think it will be better. Let's find out about that Ace of Wands, because that's what the advice seems to be. Look, burden. So somebody, you know, and I told you, you know, before, no matter what you do, you're going to have to put some work in anyway. Nothing is easy like that. You just don't ha you say what you want and you get handed. No, you you got to put in a little bit of work, you know. I mean, especially if you want things to go your way, you know. Tell us about this Ace of Wands, please. Okay. You can't let go. There's something that you can't let go of. Now, I'm not even sure what it is. It could be that you can't let go of the thought of that person or... You can't let go of the thought of the toxicity. I don't know. It could be anything. Uh, but you're not really talking about it. We have the two of wands here. That's about conversations. Not really. I haven't, you're not talking about it. It's in reverse. And, and that's going to be what bites you in the ass. 
when you don't communicate, you're going to ruin it. You have to communicate no matter what's going on. Look. You're not going to communicate even about love. You see that? Because you can't, you can't. So this is something you're not healed from. You're looking at someone else. You know you're in something toxic that you're going to get away from. But it's something you just can't let it go though. You're like traumatized by it. Whatever this is. I don't know what happened to you. Right? Look at the bottom of the deck. We have the king of, of pentacles. You know? And, and you know because it's 50-50. You know some some out there are doing okay mentally and, and, and physically and financially all that. But some out there are not doing so well right they're still fucked up over the last thing they still got they're still holding on to some baggage that's what i mean you know what i mean so if you if you are someone like that and you feel like you need to step in to a situation because you might think time's running out this that, and the other the best thing for you to do would be to just be honest you know there's nothing better then honesty, then you don't have to keep track of all the lies, right? Right. All right. <clears throat> Let's find out about this Nine of Wands. It's a really nice day today. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. Okay. We got the Queen of Pentacles right here. All right, we could be referring to this person. They could have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in their chart. Uh, she's very generous, so maybe that's what, you know, you're going to be fighting for. You're going to be fighting for the Queen of Pentacles, somebody who is generous, who is not giving to two. Okay, so there we go. There's There can be a little backstory here, right? Somebody here could have been giving to two, like maybe your ex- or you, but somebody here was like being like a floozy or a, or a player or a gigolo, whatever you want to call it, right? But this person doesn't do that. This person doesn't give to two. This person doesn't share, <laughs> right? I used that word just recently. Yep, look, eight of pentacles. This person works alone, right? Three of Wands. This person is waiting for their ships to come in. That's why. This person would rather be alone than to be all around with other people. They would just rather be alone. Because this person is uh, this person is into monogamy, right? They, they're that one person. They're not polygamy person, right? That's this Nine of Pentacles lady. Right, she pro she's probably comfortable and good where she is because she probably been cheated on and hurt and lied to and all kinds of things. She had to learn to enjoy her own company, her own, you know, to be alone and to enjoy just her own presence, right? That's why she's there. That's why she's at this point. She'd rather be alone than to be in a fucked up relationship, you know what I mean? She'd rather be happy and alone. So that's why she's alone. Eight of Pentacles, that's about working on your own craft, right? Working alone. Six of Pentacles is about giving to two, but we have it in reverse. She ain't giving to nobody but herself, right? And then there she is, Queen of Pentacles. She is generous, though. It's not like she's stingy or anything, because this is the most one of the most generous queens in the deck. So we can't, we're not saying that. She's just smart right? She's got boundaries. She knows what's best for her. She knows what she deserves. She knows what others deserve even, right? She's been through a lot of things. So this is why, okay? She is waiting for, you know, a special man, I guess, a, a special someone, someone who she has things in common with, who, you know, I don't know. I don't even know who everybody is different for what they want, right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and um I you know I found these while I was doing my little cleaning clean around, you know. 
Uh, you ha I have to. I have to do a lot of cleaning around because things get left and then they spoil. And I just want my stuff clean. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we're going to shuffle these and we're going to see. Um, I'm, I'm just going to pull out like. I'm going to pull out two cards. Okay. I'll pull this one. And, oh, I guess that one, that one kind of just fell on its own. Okay. These are the love message cards. Those are all I have left of those. I used to have a big thick stack, but I gave, you know, I gave them away. All right, you guys ready for this? Here we go. You make me happy. So, you know, we're talking about people that know each other already. This is not a new thing. Okay. All right, we have the letter A here. That is the only letter that's showing up here, the letter A. That could be somebody's first, middle, last initial. We also have uh, some, the, somebody here is working on their root chakra. Right, that's good. They're working on their money and their stability. Looks like they're there, almost there, you know. We also have somebody who is working on their heart chakra, so like their emotions and those types of things. We also have somebody, uh, there's no progress yet, but they've given it thought about, you know, confiding into a higher source maybe, trusting their own intuition more. But this is only something they're thinking about. They haven't really put in any work to it. So that's one card for somebody. I don't know for who. Oh, this one has a lot of stuff on it. We have the word cruel. Somebody could have been real cruel to somebody. I also see the word revolt. Somebody may have revolted in the past or I don't know. I also have the, I need you, I need you. Can you trust again? Oh, so we also have somebody here that may have deceived another person or somebody knows that someone just got deceived and they're asking, can you trust again, right? Are you ready? Which means kind of have you went through the healing? There's, are, do you still have baggage or, or what? Like, that's what I'm talking about. If you have trust issues, make sure you make that known. You know? Um, what else do we have here? Cooking together. So maybe you guys have cooked together. Maybe this is, you know, somebody. Uh, look. Oh, shit. I told you. We are soulmates. Isn't that crazy? So this has more letters, though. We have the letter A again. That's double confirmation on that A. We also have the letter B. We have the letter T. We have the letter X. And then we have the letter P. When it comes to uh, the chakra healing, it looks like somebody has been trying to heal their uh, solar plexus chakra. Working on their emotions. But that's all we have for that one. Mm -hmm. Did I say the letter P? The letter P was there too. But yeah, that's what I have for you guys. That is what I have. And yeah. Uh, just remember, I just throw them out uh, randomly. I'm just throwing the videos out randomly now. We are in Oklahoma. Just making our way to Texas to the coast. Um, but don't forget if it resonated, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, keep it true love energy. Ah, uh, happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona, this Clay Scope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time. <laughs> Bye.